break through. And then I would sit in the chair and it's like, oh, I would say one thing that would be obvious to me and that they're going, oh, that, oh yeah, of course, that's what we need. I'd go back home and off they would go. And of course, as I listened to all of them, many times the stuff they were saying, I would think, gosh, I've never thought of things that way before. I'd come back to my own business, back to Axiom and apply those ideas. And, and so this, I, this, this concept that God brings us together in our life experiences and our perspectives to do things which otherwise are not really gonna be possible. Next thing you know, there's this opportunity to be hanging out with chiefs and leaders and, and you know, at the, at the, uh, the legislature, national legislature in Nigeria and Abuja. And not, not as an advisor in the sense of, oh, you know all kinds of things, tell us what to do, but really just hanging out and kicking stuff around, listening to each other, sharing perspective. Then, then came the cell phone. Then came the cell phone, and then came smartphones. And for the majority of the world, they never had landlines, and they never had ways to communicate. And all of a sudden, people started pouring in the money to create these, uh, these cellular networks way before they were developed well in the US. I was getting better cell signals in the middle of Nigeria than I, than I was in my own bedroom. And all of a sudden, people in the middle of the villages started popping out these phones and talking to each other. And, oh, here's a great statistic. Uh, this was uh, done back in 2011. Every people kept saying, are there more cell phones or toothbrushes? And so this particular study uh, actually found that by 2011, there are more active cell phones in the world than toothbrushes in use, you know, whatever it was, 3.5 billion toothbrushes, 4.6 billion uh, mobile phones, cell phones at that time, world population 6.8 billion. Now this is 2011. 20, 